When you think of the most common features or traits of a snake, outside of the obvious appearance, many people will likely think of a snake's tongue, the long, flickering, and forked tongue. It is synonymous with a snake. But why do snakes have a forked tongue? What purpose does it serve? And what's up with that flickering motion? In this material, we will hit on all three questions. You'll find that a snake's tongue is worth far more than meets the eye. Enjoy the video. We hope you find it informative. And we thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend them with us. A snake's tongue is a data collector. The flickering motion acts as a sensation detector and a scent tracker. The tongue collects particles in the air, which creates a smell. On the roof of a snake's mouth, just behind the nose, is an organ that brings everything together. The Jacobson's organ. Filled with ridges on the anterior level, the Jacobson's organ is activated once a snake's tongue is brought back into its mouth. Once the tongue touches this critical area, specific data is transferred to a snake's brain. It essentially paints a picture of what the particles mean. Better stated, a picture of what the tongue detected. Is there food nearby? Potential prey? Potential danger? Etc. While it's unclear how much quote-unquote smell is detected by the tongue and the Jacobson's organ, it's clear that a snake's flickering tongue serves a much greater purpose than merely the potential intimidation visual that us humans see. So now that we have an understanding of what a snake's tongue actually does in terms of picking up particles in the air and deciphering what they mean, what's up with the actual fork appearance? Why do snakes need a forked tongue? According to researchers at the University of Connecticut, the forked tongue is used for true accuracy. When a snake sticks out its tongue, the forks spread. This allows the snake to pick up multiple particles, scents, scent trails, etc. Chemosensory edges of each fork, with the space in the middle of the fork, can allow a snake to not only detect the scent of potential prey, for example, but also allow the snake to know which direction the prey was moving. The forks act as directional tools. For example, if a scent is detected but it's highly sensitive on the right portion of the fork, that likely means that prey, a thread, whatever it is, is more to the right or is moving toward the right. You can think of this as a three-dimensional smell overview. Fork left, fork right, and the area in the center. Finding food, locating a mate, and the ability to identify and avoid threats are the three core purposes of a snake's forked tongue. This is why you will inevitably see a snake's flickering tongue the closer you approach. You've been spotted. Now it's time to identify whether you are friend or foe. If you would like to know more about this topic as a whole, including detailed information regarding the role that a snake's tongue plays in the search for food, a mate, and predator avoidance, please visit us at snakesforpets.com. There you will find a detailed article on this very topic. If you're currently watching us off-site, please click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to this valuable information. And on that helpful note, that will wrap things up for the video portion of this material. Once again, we thank you so much for watching and spending some time with us. It is greatly appreciated. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours. Avoid speaking with a forked tongue, and we will certainly talk to you later. <laughs>